So today we have the task of embroidering on this bag right here. This is one of those um, waterproof type of container bags, if you will. And I was gonna do this on the EM1010, but this material is kind of thick and I didn't wanna take a chance and ruin the customer's bag. So I decided, let me come over here and hit it off with the MT1501, as you guys see right here behind us. Already did the test stitch out of the design to make sure that it embroiders flawlessly. All right, I had to tweak my settings a little bit because when I first started, the white bobbin thread was peeking through the letter, so I adjusted it and now I'm getting all green at the top. So it's ready to go and be embroidered. I'm gonna use my 10 by 10 inch Mighty Hoop right here, 10 by 10 inches. And I'm gonna use two pieces of stabilizer. Now, I'm using two pieces of stabilizer, but it's not even necessary because this bag is thick and it's not gonna move. But I don't know, just good practices. I'm gonna use stabilizer anyway. And I like to use two pieces most of the time, but it's not really necessary, but I'm gonna use two pieces. So let's um hoop this up. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. just like that. Eight, 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 uh, productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. All right, so I'm grab my bag, and we wanna embroider right directly here. I can take my little practice thing right here. Where'd I put it? So here it is right here. I take the little plastic one, and you can like kind of place it. That's why it's good to t put a uh, embroider a test stitch, embroider a test stitch out, so you can like put it on a bag and test out how it's gonna look and just get a gauge of what it's gonna look like when you embroider on there. All right, so got our flat base right here. Bag's open. So, like I said, I'm gonna use some stabilizer. So I'm gonna put the stabilizer on the inside, even though it's not necessary, like I said, to use this. It's kind of curving this way. So I'm gonna lay it in the bag this way. All right, got my stabilizer right there. All right, let's get that in there right now even though, like I said, it's not necessary because the bag is super thick. Those of you guys that have done bags this thick can vouch in the comment section. Now I'm gonna get my Mighty Hoop. I'm gonna open it up. All right, open up my Mighty Hoop and I'm gonna place the inside of the Mighty Hoop over here, right? And notice I got this big tab right here at the top and I'm just gonna push it and I'm gonna try to like gauge where the center of the Mighty Hoop is because that's where I want my design to fall kind of sorta. And I'm using this tab. This this uh, bag right here has a little thing right here and I'm kinda, and I know that's the center of here kind of sorta. Actually, this is not even in the center. It should be over just a tad bit, but it's okay. So I'm gonna like take this and I'm gonna kinda try to line it up with that and make sure it's straight, right? And straight on both sides, get it nice and flat, right? And then I can feel where the sides are, I can even see where the sides are of the mighty hoop, all right? So I know that this is nice and straight and even. And now, I just take the top part of the mighty hoop, and with this, with the U, U on this side for the MT, then you just drop it on there, and then we're pretty much hooped. But, didn't, see I got these ridges in here, I don't like the way that hoops, so I'm going to, with this bag, this bag doesn't have any give at all, doesn't have any stretch. So you can pretty much, with this material, you can pretty much go ahead and pull it out because it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt anything because this bag doesn't stretch. All right, so we're hooped up and ready to go. All right, see that? We're ready to go. All right, let's put this in the machine, guys. All right, I want you guys to pay attention to how I put this in, just in case you're novice. So, first of all, my bag is open. Take this handle and put it in. And then under under the needles and I'm holding the brackets and I'm putting this right under the lip right here and then I'm just gonna push it in and it locks into place just like that all right now I'm gonna put my thing on needle number one because it's still on the wrong needle from the uh, first stitch out right and now I'm gonna do a little trace all right first of all I'm gonna position it because this isn't quite the, the center of this so I'm gonna press ok on the screen and then I'm gonna Position it just a little bit. All right. That looks about that looks about center. All right. So now I'm gonna trace it to see where the design falls. All right. Boom. 
That looks perfect to me. Actually, I want it up a little bit more. So we're going to put it up a little bit more. So, wrong way. And it looks like it's over on this side a little bit too much. Alright, so let me do a contour trace this time. It'll tell me exactly where the design is going to embroider out. Alright. So it's going to come over here about that much. That's good. Good placement. And it's going to come over here about... I think that's perfect placement. That's directly exactly where I want it to be. All right, I could even put it up a little bit more. So I might just put it up a tad bit more. All right. Yep, that's the way I want it. Got to oil this right here. So I'm gonna up, went down. Up a little bit more. Because I want it to fall right underneath that sign. So let me trace one more time. Trace one more time. Just make sure. All right. Still good on that side. And the top part, right underneath that logo, like, like I want it. Exactly. All right. And boom. That's going to fall right in the center of that bag. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. We're ready to go now. We're ready to cook, cooking on gas, baby. Ready to go. All right. So now it's time to go. I'm just going to hit start on my machine. And we're going to go. All right. Press start. And here we go. Commit it now, baby. design is all done it's time to take it out take this thing out and have a look at it real fast all right as you guys can see we are official We're gonna do a few trims take this knife out We're gonna do a few trims and good to go design came out good um i could have had it looking at the placement i could have had it just over a tad bit but for the most part the placement is pretty good let me know what you guys think in the comments down below let me know what you guys think right here check it out all right yeah but as you guys can see yeah a little bit closer on this side than it is on this side but we're good you know neaten this up uh trim away these uh tails and we're good all right y'all our design came out excellent i neatened it up Trim the inside, stabilizer off, and it looks darn good. They wanted their, you know, representation of their company on the front of this bag right here so they can, you know, serve their drinks in class and style. This company's called So Fresh, So Green. You guys saw when I did the super color shirts for them. And as you guys can see, I'm getting repeat business. I'm um, going to be doing some hats, but they're out of the Richardson 112s. I can't find them anywhere. The specific color the customer wants is heather gray and with the black mesh backing can't find them anywhere sold out so if you know where they are let me know in the comments down below guys um so you know this company right here makes freshly squeezed juices so you know i had to patronize them just like they patronize me so i went and i got a bunch of juices last time that I met my clients. I think I dropped off those shirts that I did because, yeah, he took a long time to pick them up. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, and I got some juices. So we're going to do the So Fresh and So Green Tasters Challenge. So stay tuned. That's the very next video I'm going to release out on the channel. So stay tuned to watch the So Fresh, So Green Challenge. All right? Um, yeah, we're going to taste the different juices that they make, some of the different juices that they make, and see what all the hype's about. So Fresh, So Green. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. If it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and share the video out with your friends. And if you are in the market to buy a Recoma 
embroidery machine like I have, use my Recoma affiliate link down in the description below. I am a Recoma affiliate and when you purchase using my link, I get a small percentage and it helps the channel grow like it's been growing guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys for that, for using those links. Go ahead, don't forget to use my Amazon link if you're shopping on Amazon, my Heat Trans Warehouse link if you're shopping on Heat Trans Warehouse, my Vexels link if you're searching for graphics, and my um, Heat Press Nation link, my Cosmos Inc. link. I got a bunch of links down there for you guys to use. So click those links anytime you shop and think of your boy, man. I greatly, 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 greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, AW Productions, TikTok, AW Productions, and visit the merch store, alanaway.com. I know it's a lot of stuff, right? alanaway.com, buy yourself some channel merch. And if you'd like to schedule a consultation with me, a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime consultation with me, go ahead to awproductions.com and schedule your consultation today so we can get you familiar with all your machines and the machines that I use that are listed on awproductions.com. Guys, I, I know that's a lot. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to be doing the So Fresh, So Green Juice Challenge, Taste Tasters Challenge. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that, guys. See you guys in the next video. It's your boy, and I'm out. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?